common modalité de gouvernance. My name is Miguel Vieira, Miguel Said Vieira. I'm from Brazil. I'm coordinating the, the infrastructure stream here at the, the, the conference. And I do research and activism, commons and commodification uh, related to uh, science and uh, free culture, m mostly those topics. Uh, so let's start with Anna. Hi, yes. I'm Anna Serovalli. I'm Italian, but I'm based in Sweden. I am where I'm doing uh, research on uh, infrastructures uh, for alternative production, focusing uh, on uh, commons. And uh, my research is based on uh, being involved in setting up a makerspace uh, in Malmo. My name is Kai Ehlers. I'm a researcher in post-Sovietic transformation and what follows out of it for global transformation. That's my work. And uh, when I think about commons, I think this is to be self-organized together with others for survival. One of the topics that I, I, I like to propose, which is something that came out of our, of our session, which was a strong topic during the discussion, is the relationship between in infrastructure and, and, and commons enabling infrastructure and the public sphere. So uh, there's also the issue of uh, should we try to, to take, uh, reappropriate ourselves of infrastructure that currently exists which is mostly uh, uh, state-built or, or public, or should we try to design things from, from scratch uh, in a different way? So I wanted to, to, to hear from you too uh, on, this, on this topic. I'll start. Um, well, I, I don't have a, a clear view on this, but uh, going trying to develop more uh, this, this kind of opposition of tension it seems that on one side there is this idea of, of creating self-autonomous communities which can be connected but somehow they are closed, uh, closed system and on the, other wise, on the other side try instead to work with the existing infrastructure and try to uh, connect with existing institutions and, and, and system and see what kind of commons uh, can develop there uh, as a collaboration between uh, autonomous communities and public public infrastructures, and uh, yeah, it's it's a really I think tricky um, um, tricky issues because on the, on one side there is a risk if if we if we push too much towards this idea of autonomous communities, the risk is to um, going back to some kind of uh, medieval state that also uh, Rodota was pointing out. Uh, but on the other side, how how do you approach these infrastructures that maybe, and these systems that maybe could, they uh, could oppose uh, the idea of commons because it means uh, losing power and, and uh, yeah. I think we are not living in a room without structures, but we always have some infrastructures, um, which means state. Infrastructure in some way is the question of state. And uh, of course we have very different infrastructures. We have infrastructures in Europe, we have infrastructures in eastern part of our world, in the southern part, and everything depends very much on what structures, in which structures we live. That's one thing which is very important, I think, to analyze and to see what we are talking about. And then, of course, I think it's not that or that. But of course, I think, as I said, when I think about comments, this means to self-organize myself together with others, for surviving and for living, for good living, for good surviving. <laughs> and this means uh, I have to look to the situation in which I live. And I have to organize um, uh, in that way that I can find a combination between myself organ organizing and people mm. living with me, directly and a little bit more abroad. Mm. I don't see another way. All things which I don't, don't Go, all, all thoughts who don't, which don't go this way are irreal in a way. That's what I think about this. You know? And I think uh, if you go too small to self-organizing in that way, that you 
exclude yourself at others. It's a, it's a false path. You know? So if we talk about commons, we have this uh, between state, how it is, this or that, and between private capital. Mm. So we have to find a way which is going further. Mm. That's the main question which I see. Uh, yes, and uh, if I may, uh, be in what you're saying, coming from a, a design perspective, it's also, uh, you see, it's not just a matter of maybe of people, but it's also what role does things and technology play uh, in this, and also how they can uh, have an agency or support this coming together uh, in between. And here I think a lot what is happening in the open source uh, movement, it's really maybe be building some kind of middle ground uh, where maybe we can meet in between. Well, I want to say, I want to answer to this. <coughs> Self-organization in, let's say, Russia today uh, is a different thing from self-organization uh, in Sweden or in Germany. If people uh, in Russia uh, who live in a situation when social structures have been destroyed just now, up to the ground, to the bottom, when they think about self-organization, that means food, eat, have the very, very, sim very simple structures to overcome. That means self-organization. If we talk about self-organization here in Germany, we have all these things around us. I mean, it's a level of infrastructure which is more than us, you know? So we have to go back from these infrastructures to find ourselves. Mm. It's a suffering, it's a, it's a different situation. Mm. So we have to, to talk about, about what situation do we talk? And what people do we have? Mm. Where do we live? Uh, this reminds me, Anna, you, you brought something quite interesting, I think, uh, with regard to the definition of infrastructure, uh, how we should look at infrastructure. You brought the idea of context Related yeah. and time related. Could you could you develop yeah. a bit? Of that? Uh, I it, think that's interesting. For it's a, for it's a concept coming uh, from Star, and uh, she, what, where she defines an infrastructure as a not a what but a when. Um, because in her idea, an infrastructure is something that happens when you have a a, 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 a broad structure allowing local practices uh, to emerge. And I think this is also something, I mean, I, I can see it's, there is a resemble in, in what you are saying mm -hmm. about how, how do we enable, how do we focus on the local context? Because this, this is where commons happen. How do we get, the, get together in this specific situation with these specific people having these specific roles? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. If you see it principally, uh, what is the common? I mean, a common uh, Almende in German, yes? Uh, that means not only a material resource, of course, but it means uh, no, an organism, mm. social organism, which includes resources, materials, and thoughts, and people, and feelings. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. so, but it's, um, it's an organism which is coming from the concrete situation. Every time, from concrete situation, concrete resources, concrete people, concrete mentalities, and so on and so on. So, any co every common is a diff is different from the other one, mm. and it's it's a matter of time and and possibilities and so on and so on. So, everybody resides, every common decides for for themselves, but of course there is the other common and there is a common again. <laughs> so we have to have some nets between commons. And this is already the question of infrastructure, of state, how do we do it, that's it. Yeah. If I may bring an issue that I think relates quite a bit to, to this, which was also brought, uh, raised during the, the, the session, which is the issue of scale. And how do we uh, um, learn in which sectors is it possible to go down and decentralize mm -hmm. and have uh, stuff done pretty much more locally adapted and in and to learn also in which cases that might not be possible or, or that will be very hard to, to do uh, for instance there was this discussion if electricity distribution was uh, this case or not i wonder if uh, if you have uh, thoughts on this i think this also relates to uh, for instance current in, uh, emerging uh, infrastructure alternatives Sometimes are not uh, so uh, 
um, largely networked, they might be mm. more local. How to, to, to scale up and yeah. network them? May I give a short answer to this? Yes. <laughs> uh, in the morning when I was shaving, <laughs> and when I was, uh, well, I, I thought, oh, it's wonderful that in the fives, uh, what is this, stock, no, the house, in the Levels. fives, le yes, yes, I have some water. You know, there is water, warm water, and I can shave, and I can everything, th and I can drink my tea, and so on. And water is going down again. Mm -hmm. What is this? I mean, this is a uh, present which I got from my people who have been living before me, and so on and so on. But I know situations in Russia or in Mongolia or somewhere, people don't have anything. Mm -hmm. what, what, what are we talking about? Infrastructure. I mean, so self-organizing there, I repeat, and self-organizing here, it's a totally different mm -hmm. thing. And, uh, and I think it's also what you are saying somehow, it's also bringing up some issues that I think they are not uh, so addressed in, in the, um, in, when it comes to tangible production. Uh, that of course you have fab labs where you can produce some things, but then if you, if you open up a little bit and you think where materials are coming from, and then you realize that you can't build everything from scratch exactly from you where you can't start uh, uh, melting down and producing like steel for then producing your car. You need, mm -hmm. so there is a need of having a broader infrastructure and then maybe having some local uh, facilities for production uh, where you can, there are things that I can produce on a local scale. And this, I think it really needs to be discussed because mm -hmm. uh, the, it's also, uh, Star is also pointing out that we don't, uh, infrastructure, when they work well, they are invisible. We just realize they are missing when they break, break down. Yeah. Uh, and so I think the, all the commons movement should a little bit start to think, okay, and, and be a little bit more aware about the infrastructures that are more like broad and, and global that allow commons mm -hmm. uh, uh, to exist. Because the internet itself, it's, it's great, but and, and what it allows, mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, uh, it could break down, and then, uh, yeah, we would lose. If they switch yeah. off electricity, yeah. what is done? <laughs> 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 and there is another example, uh, which I, I can give. When I was in Mongolia last time, I saw uh, that infrastructure break down, broke down. In Soviet time, uh, they had a wonderful infrastructure by communities, and uh, around these communities, they had their herders and so on and so on. And they had their, um, what is this, where you get the water in English? No, the well? Uh, no, uh, where you get the water. The dwell. Well. Dwell, okay. Well. <laughs> and they had dwells in any of these centers at that time. It was wonderful. Everybody could one, two, th use one, two of, of these dwells. And after privatization started, now dwells are uh, privatized. Then. Privatized, not only, but they're just uh, 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 destroyed. Mm. Oh, Nobody they're, cares. They're Nobody up. cares for it. No. Mm. But on the other hand, people are going to fight for water in Mongolia. Mm. There are shootings round about these dwells. Mm. You see, what is going on if you if you destroy infrastructure? I mean public infrastructure, water should be for everybody. But now water is for these private people mm -hmm. and other peoples who have, people who have their animals, they have to go there and they have to fight for water. What is this? These are the, uh, are the common questions. Yeah. This, this I think brings us to perhaps another subject that, that was discussed at the, very briefly, but I think it was a very important one during the, the session which is, uh, is it important or not to distinguish when we're talking about in, uh, infrastructure for, for commons between commercial uh, directed use and let us say citizens mm -hmm. usage, which is something which is not clear if we, if we think of the, neither the public sphere nor in, in commons. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Because I think that also relates to conflicts as well, yeah. you know? If I may, I think that it's, uh, I see that there are three, three levels of access. There is the, the, as I say, the commercial one, 
the 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 commoners one and then the public one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's a little bit how how do we regulate this? What things should be related to to the commercial sphere? How do you we relate to the ones who are managing the common and what things should be still be public so open uh, to everyone? And I don't have an answer for this, but I think it really needs to be uh, really thought through. Mm. I think there is no answer in a way uh, which is uh, for all days and for all countries and so on. But of course you can say what is necessary for, for, for a man, for a human being. So I need for water. a man, a woman. A man, a human yeah. being. Yeah. Right? Uh, I, I need water, I need food, I need my place for my family, mm. for a living. And uh, so we should have some possibilities uh, possi that we can get water, that mm -hmm. we can get food and so on. This is uh, just uh, basic, mm. basic. So how do we organize? That's the next question. Yeah. No? It links us to the f fundamental rights issue brought by Rodota, I think. Yes, as well. uh -huh. yes. Mm -hmm. So that's the question, how do we organize? And if I think about old commons, old Almendes that we say, I see they have been organizing their uh, local situation, fishing or something, you know. But now today we have, of course, big commons, I mean, big common problems. Mm -hmm. So we have not only to organize our little yeah. thing there, but we have to organize our planet. Yeah. So yeah. this is a different yeah. question. Yeah, course, yeah. And, and I think, when I say this, and, and I think what are commons for me, it's, it's it's more this ability of getting together, and when I mean getting together, it's 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 because we live in a complex world, and and we have infrastructures in place, we have ways of living that goes beyond our basic needs. And I'm thinking about health. Should be health common based? Do, would you like to have a system, healthcare system, which is based on small slots, or would you rather prefer to have a, a global system of health where knowledge and and procedures are are spread? You have to have a net. Yeah. You have to have a net of comments, let's say like this, that would be utopia, right? yeah. net of comments, which organize themselves with, with yeah. each other. But what, what is this, this organization? It's a state. That's a state. In yeah. a way, it's a state. But of course, we have to have another state. I mean, yeah. if we're thinking about comments, and if we're thinking about organizing comments with, with each other, this will be a different state from that we have today. Yeah. And it's a, and that's yeah and I think it's not only the state but also when you think about commercial actors I know I know that uh, and I'm thinking about production when there is this idea where uh, people could produce the things themselves and become autonomous but then uh, it's we can't think that we will produce everything on their own we still need structures and, and organizations that can produce different things I mean specialization of work it's not something heavy, something really good, which allows us today to be sitting here. So it's also how, how do we bring the state, the, the citizens, the companies together and think about yeah, a new infrastructure? Well, the problem is that our state today is sort of monopolist. It's not only a regulator, he is no, it's no server, hmm. no servant, no servant, but he is a regulator and dictator in a way. And even more and more, I mean, we have just talking, been talking about this, that we have a uh, uh, European uh, monster, financial monster, which is making laws in Brussels, for instance, which don't fit to the, to the local situation. Which is, yeah? is very contradictory to what, what we're discussing from the beginning, the, yeah. the uh, adaptation. Of, it's, very, um, very, it's a situation which can't go along that way, you know. We have to start here, of course, what people need. And if we start here, we have to discuss, you are one common, I another common, you are the third mm. common. How do we organize this, that you get what you need, and I get what I need, or what we need, and so on. And so we build up. And that's sort of state, but that state is a different state from that we have today. Mm -hmm. Will be, will be, if we go that way, I mean, if we succeed. We really had to no. imagine this new thing. So I, I really wanted to thank you both. And uh, would you like to finish with 
your idea of commons now that you're inspired by this very provocative discussion? Or? Uh, yes, I mean, as I said, I think uh, commons, it's, it's about getting together, but I think it's not getting together between people who, who think in the same way. It's really important to open up and, and try to bring in people who, who think different, because only if we, if we get together with different ideas, then we, we can reach uh, change. I want, to, I want to add something. Although a situation is very different in some countries, in some situations, there is something in common. And this is the mentality, the spirit, the spirit of common, which means we help each other living. And this is a very old remembrance to culture which, ha which has been, we should remember that we can live together and how we can live together. This is, of course, in uh, Russia and Germany and at any place in Africa, it's in some way the same, you know? Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.